Oh, it's so nasty, Monsieur Ham. Oh, it's uh, Vita 26 today. That means there's only four days left to Vita, and it's all over. Um, yeah, it's April 26, 2012, and it's time for Common Sex. Last night, uh, or yesterday, I spent eight hours working on a video editing feature, debugging it and getting it to work properly. I finally did. So, uh, Adventures in the Library will, will come out today, but it'll be a little delayed, and some of the features in it will be, will have some new features in there. So, uh, same thing with the news. This is this will affect a lot of a lot of the different production for this will affect. So, I will be bringing the upgraded versions of my videos uh, this week actually just uh, uh, I have one thing that I have to get done today a supplemental uh, I realized that when I was doing uh, the uh, the chemical diagrams the uh, the, s the structures of the, of the organic molecule of the hybrid hydrocarbons that it was difficult to see and I was able to uh, this is what I did yesterday put together a screencast that uh, showed what I was tr talking about, so these will be supplementals, the supp there will be supplemental to Adventures in the Library that will be on the uh, Space API channel, uh, because these will deal with specific with the, with the elements of organic chemistry uh, at this point in time, and then uh, after that, uh, anything else that needs to be uh, detail that will be come out will come up there. So I'm gonna, I have it. I, I will be we will, will be sort of in, in this in sort of adventures in the library branching off to a bit of uh, organic chemistry, but uh, not too much. Uh, I I don't think. Well, it depends on what's in the book, and then from from there, uh, basically I'm working on. Uh, the opening theme will will stay this way until basically uh, sometime in May, near the end of May, we'll, the opening theme will stay. But I'm working on a new opening thing. Theme. Uh, this will be my uh, so this will be, it will be my first official title, opening title that uh, opening theme that uh, Big Bang Theory will have. Uh, this is somewhat of an unofficial one, and it's not doesn't have my name on it because uh, I haven't put the tiling in there. But it's got the opening theme, so uh, this will occur every year at this time uh, uh, after uh, Pascha, the Greek Easter. Uh, we will be having this for forty days, and then. Uh, And I'm working on it right now. I'll, I'll, I'll see how many of you recognize who what it is. Uh, it's a mishmash of the uh, of one thing, one one sound bite, and it produces a nice little tune. Um, that's all for now. It's just short today because I spent an enormous amount of time yesterday just doing debug. Uh, and the is, this is one thing I want to say about debug. Uh, for the Linux crowd and for anyone who's considering Linux, uh, when something doesn't work, what Linux allows you to do it allows you to go in and debug things. You, this is for upgrades or whatever, and you can really sort of fix things up in a different manner than you would if you were on Windows or Macintosh, uh, or I should say Apple. Macintosh is the is the actual product rather than the uh, and. Uh, people get frustrated because they look for help in the community and they copy what they see in the community and paste it and when this solution doesn't work for them they get frustrated and walk away from it. What I've found is that the community that has examples of how something works 
Uh, works for them, but if your configuration is different depending on how you've got your system configured, things may not work for you exactly the same way. But what happens, and this, this is what I did, is that uh, a large chunk of the screencasts that I saw that were being captured up there were being captured in uh, an MKV format which produced uh, massive, massive files and then converted it to HD. Well, looking through, uh, I think, four or five different examples and different sites on how to do things, I eventually stumbled, all, stumbled on a way, and it worked uh, just around 10 o'clock last night, uh, to do HD screencasts. And it, it goes directly to HD. The files are reasonably, reasonably sized. Uh, so the concern for having a high quality broadcast, the screencast, uh, it really wasn't an issue anymore. I thought that's been done. I fixed that up around 10:30 last night. Uh, there are some new features I want. I do want to add to it because uh, there are more features that can be added to this. Uh, now that I have this new capacity, and uh, we're we'll, we'll see where we're going to go from there. And what I ended up doing is I ended up removing Pulse Audio. Paul Stolidier was having an enormous amount of problems. For some reason, uh, on this latest version of uh, Ubuntu, uh, and, and, and I'm talking particularly with the, the, Kubuntu, the Kubuntu flavor of it, the KDE version, uh, the Paul Stolidier server seemed to have a lot of issues, particularly lag issues. So, the, I, wasn't, I didn't really want to remove Paul Stolidier, but I ended up removing it. And then worked around it, and it seems to, it seems to be working fine without Paul as a Paul Sawyer. I don't really see an issue uh, uh, in terms of having Paul Sawyer on the desktop. So we'll see how things go. Uh, I will be uh, doing more work in the development community. I'm sort of taking the next steps up there as I debug this. this the, Right now, I'm kind of out, out my, I've got systems on the bench to uh, refurbish. They're not finished yet, so I'm using one system to do uh, development, video editing, and I'm setting up a music studio, Linux Music Studio, uh, on the same system. But my network, I upgraded my network last year, and the network itself has now has is configured so that I can handle uh, easily. Well, it can be it can be multiply configured, and it's it's, it's a one it's a gigabit it's a gigabit system across the uh, the backbone is is one gigabit uh, one gigabit per sec per second. So the speed is there uh, as long as the computer can handle it. Uh, right now, everything seems to be running at uh, 100 megabits per second. So that's a good, you know, speed. Things are going, moving across pretty well. Uh, the time lag between when I, from what most things that I have to move isn't so bad. Uh, even if I have to move 30 gigabytes uh, across the network, uh, I'm only looking at about 45 minutes worth of time. So, and because I've got multiple systems here. Uh, that's not necessarily an issue in terms of slowing myself down and work. What I have to do next is I have to set up uh, off the main network. I have to set up network segments, and there's going to be the electronics lab segment. There's going to be the uh, music studio segment. Then there's going to be a segment uh, specifically for the uh, library and the file server, the file server and the library there, so we're going to put, uh, I'm moving, aiming to move from uh, the, the, uh, the three terabytes I'm at now, I'm planning to add another two terabytes, uh, maybe a third terabyte, maybe go up to six terabytes, I'm not sure yet how I want to do things. Uh, and then uh, I want to 
fix I'm working on it fixing up uh, fixing up my back machine shop and then adding the computer system uh, adding a segment to there so we'll see what we'll see what happens and see how things go because uh, it depends on the budget that I have uh, if my budget's all right then I'll do that if my budget's not all right then we'll have to do some workarounds anyways that's it for today uh, still a little knocked out take it easy I'll see you around